Hello, my dear lovelies, it's Drina from Drina's Haven 916 and Alternative Life Solutions coming at you with uh, a couple of quick golden nuggets, thoughts, and notes to self. You are demasculating your man. Fellas, she's demasculating you. Let me tell you how. She doesn't support you. She um, downgrades you she is toying with your self-esteem she knows how to press your buttons she learned you she studied you and she knows how to get under your skin her mouth is a killer life and death lies in the power of the tongue if she is constantly telling you that you are worthless, you're worthless, you ain't shit, you uh, low down, dirty MF, and constant, constantly says those types of things to you on a regular basis, regardless if she is under the influence, intoxicated, or um, in, a, in an altered level of consciousness. When she's in that state, she constantly demeans you and put you down. Don't support your vision. Don't support your dreams. Not in alignment with your goals. Not allowing you to be the man that you know that you are. She's demasculating you. Women tend, women like we are, we're feminine and we're also masculine. However, when we have a man in our lives, we have to allow the man to do the manly things. And we have to consciously put our masculinity to the side. Sometimes though, um, come to the you know the defense of the female sometimes it's hard for her it's hard for us to let go and when I say let go I mean it's hard for us to let go of doing everything because we're so used to doing everything and I'm not talking about all women I'm just talking about certain women and you know who I'm talking about you know who you are and fellas you know who she is why do you put up with that? Because there are way too many females out there for you to suffer at the hands of a woman who does not understand, who does not know her self-worth and she don't know that she is a queen. And I've said it before, being a queen is a mentality. If she does not have the mentality of a queen then she is not going to give you or support you in what your vision your mission your dreams are she is not going to allow you to be the leader because she always going to want to take things and matters in her own hands and uh and she's not going to allow you to be the man that you are the man that you deserve to be so you have to come to the conscious choice and the conscious decision to make the hard choice and the hard decisions it's not easy these things are very deeply rooted it's deep deep deeply rooted in her psyche because secretly she hates men secretly deep down inside she has daddy issues and although she may portray that she loves you on some levels like you know she keeps clean house uh, she cooks dinner for you she um has um sex with i'm just gonna say she has sex with you all of that is good great and excellent but when she starts to put her mouth on you 
uh, behind closed doors and then it crosses over into public and around other people and to other people, no bueno. You have some decisions to make. And I'm telling you, if you don't make those decisions sooner rather than later, the longer you stay, the harder it is to get out of it. Note to self, golden nugget. If you can't use it now, use it like a credit card. The same way that being a queen is a mentality, being a king is also a mentality. It's not how many figures you bring in. It is not uh, the size of uh, your junk that you're packing. It is mostly uh, what, how you feel about yourself. And that is your self-worth, your self-esteem. How you treat women. How, if you have a good, great relationship with your mother and you love your mother and you appreciate your mother and if you didn't have your mother in your life, just women overall. If you have the mind frame that you will protect a woman or you protect females at all costs, mentally, physically, psychologically, emotionally, um, financially, if you have that mind frame, my brother, you on your way. First off, you're going to love the Lord, okay? You love the Lord, and you're going to love your woman as Christ loved the church, okay? And I'm not talking about the building. I'm talking about the body of Christ, the believers. You're going to treat your woman that way. You're on your way. We're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But I need my brothers to know who you are you got to know who you are and you don't have to take that you don't have to take no disrespect from from no woman period dot if she is bad mouthing you to your face in front of other people to other people in front of your children she has some work to do like Kevin Hart said, everybody want to be famous, but don't nobody want to do the work. She has work to do. And if you're accepting that type of behavior from a woman, even though you may have your own agenda, subconsciously, it's tearing you down. It's tearing you down and it's tearing you down. I don't care what you say or what you think your plan is. This is not, um, who's that guy? Uh, Doom, 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 doom. Like, uh, it ain't, what's how the song go? Um, it ain't too bad the way you using me, cause I show am using you to do the things you do. Boom, 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 boom. That is a song. We're talking about real life. Get your own. Don't depend on a woman, especially if she don't appreciate you. Men want to be respected and appreciated. Period. You are the king of your castle. I don't care if she makes more money than you, if she brings in more money than you. That don't, that doesn't matter. That doesn't even count. If you are in that situation, Run, Forrest, run. Run. Don't walk. Run. Because she is going to be your downfall. She's going to be your downfall. Man. And you better hope that he's a praying man. Because if he's not a praying man and have no morals, while you flip lipping and tongue lashing, you might find yourself in a chokehold. I don't condone that. And I'm not... Um, you know, I don't agree with that. However, the reality of the situation is uh, please stop demasculating your man. Just stop. Stop doing it. Don't do it. Picture a stop sign in your head when you feel like you need to go from zero to ten. Don't take it out on your man. You are a queen. Have a queen mentality. 
fix yourself, work on yourself before you start to kill someone. You can kill someone with your words. You can kill someone. You can shut them down completely where they go into a whole full depression. Stop. Stop, my queens. Please. Please. I, I've seen it happen. I see it happening on social media. I see it happening in real life. And it's not cool and there's nothing fly about it. And I love you. And you matter. Deal with your baggage. Deal with yourself. It is yourself. That is why it's called self-esteem. It is the esteem of yourself. So that's it. That's all I have to say about that. And I love you all. Once again.